Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, tonight we will speak about uh, this uh, Romeo replication. I did it, and I wanted to know if we can uh, improve the system. Okay, first of all, we have here this rotor, as Romeo UK did, with no spo no south, no south, no south. Okay, each time changing. Okay, on the top here we have a small coil. It is a motorizing coil, and this coil is actuated by this old sensor, which goes in these small circuits. And this circuit is a Romeo circuit. You can see here, as he has um, posted on OU. It is exactly the same with a PNP uh, transistor. It works very, very nice indeed. Thank you very much, Romeo, anyway, for these circuits. But now, this motorizing can only turn this wheel. And now I wanted to go to the further step tonight, and I discovered something, I'm not sure I discover, I think it is something very important. Because we have here, as Romeo did, this is a, a fan of the microwave oven a coil, as you can see here, with the original core. So if you dismantle a microwave oven, you can find this in the fan motor. All right? Okay. So now we go over. And now something perhaps more complicated, but not so much. We want to short this coil. The problem is when the rotor turns here, it energizes the core and the coil. All right? And it gives a nice sine wave. Everybody knows it. But the discussion here is if we short exactly at the point of the sine wave, we can perhaps get more anyway voltage, but is it more power? I don't know. And so, uh, as Romeo did, it was with a read switch, but I did it with the Doug Concern circuits. Doug Concern is a, a friend of Ismail. We are also discussing at the present, and uh, this is exactly these circuits. But my aim tonight is to show you that I make a small, small modification. So I put two of these reed switch. One is catching the north pole of the magnet, and this one is taking the south pole. Okay? So now we go on the system, and you see the two old sensor. One here takes the south, and this one takes the north. And as you see on the rotor here, they are exactly centered on each magnet. So a uh, north and then the south, all right? And for both old sensor. Very interesting. And so now, what is very interesting, I will go for a test. So I have my oscilloscope here. The oscilloscope is taken on the two um, uh, legs of the coil. This coil is about 200 ohms and with the core here is 400 micro henry. Don't read uh, 100, it, it is wrong because it was without the core. Okay, so 200 uh, something more uh, ohms and about 400 henry, a uh, million henry, right? So we go now. So we go on the oscilloscope. I turn the wheel here. Put the power, and the motor is accelerating very fast. 
Ein anderes Schuss gehabt. Wie sehen. We get a very nice sine wave. But this sine wave is very high on the basis of 20 volt. This is peak to peak almost 40 volt sine wave. And now I short the power so we can we will get only the generative of the magnet and the coil. Look at this. Tuck! I cut. Almost nothing. Incredible, isn't it? Hey, let's go for another test. I put the power on. Look at this. It's climbing, climbing, climbing. Wow! Yeah, 80 volt peak to peak and very nice trace. Mm. And on the circuit here, it is this small capacitor, as Doug Constant said, and uh, as Romero UK used also, it is 0 0.47. Uh, uh, microfarad and the two MOSFET here and the motorizing system from Romeo UK with a 42.C transistor I hope this helps I have a lot of work now you know and there's a lot of people who are, who are asking all the schematic and everything I tried to help but it is uh, Everything goes so fast, you know, that I have a lot of difficulty to answer everybody. Sorry, I do my best. Okay, and good night at all.